everybody, welcome back. Do not lose hope, okay? Last night on the Switch, I had a dream run. I easily beat Ascension 17. I know it's doable, okay? What was that run? I don't remember too well. I'm trying to think. I think it was like, you know what? I got omniscience, omniscience, hot and fresh out the kitchen. So mama rolling that body, got every card in here wishing. We didn't have a wish, but you know, if, if we did, that might have distracted you from making an R. Kelly reference, which is not really that acceptable in the year 2021. Even if it is 8.16 a.m. on a Monday morning. Um, give me a rare relic. I like it. Okay, so cloak clasp. We're going to try to remove this normality ASAP. Um, cloak clasp. Look, I'm going to I'm going to posit that it is not quite a build around, but that it makes a, a a big difference for certain. You know, basically in in all likelihood this is like 1 to 4 block every turn right now. Uh which is pretty we'll still play it is pretty amazing i mean it's it's like the value if you want to put this in like ironclad terms it's like the value of a metallicize i think at least let's just get these out here now i i'm gonna we're gonna frustrate people like the opposite of the way that we normally do we're actually going to uh blah, blah, blah. give me a cross joints give me some kill him power you know what um I'll take 275 gold. We're going to get a little risky here early. We can only play three cards. Next turn. <laughs> Next turn's interesting. We could. Basically, we can only play two attacks. If we're going to play two attacks, it would be for 25 damage, which would leave you at 31 we would need to draw all three attacks in order for that to, to function properly. In order for that to kill you and, and get us out of the situation. I'm not willing to do that. So instead, I'm just going to hit you for 14. And, and we'll rely on, on Cloak Clasp to make up the difference. We do want to play as many cards as possible because of regret. So we're only going to be able to remove one curse right away. What do we got here? Nine, nine, nine doesn't quite get us there, but that's okay. Let's uh, keep cloak clasp going here. We're only taking three as a result. It's not too bad. This is pretty bad. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't need to play the miracle to not take uh, any damage from the attack, at least. <sighs> I'm just hoping at some point we draw the right permutation of... Uh, Attacks and defense to actually get through this. Turns out we probably should have done what we were planning on doing earlier. Let's do a perseverance. Let's pull. You know, let's get a half price everything for the rest of the run. Let's pull the normality. And then 196. I love a smite or a, a smite every turn. Lantern and preserved insect are possible. Pardon me. I think they're both good enough, but I do want to say I wish that I were also able. That's fine. Uh, to get uh, Bowling Bash. We, why, I think no matter what, maybe no matter what is a misnomer, but I, I think we want to take like the best attack available here because we just don't have any great damage dealers. And, and I guess I'll consider it you know, somewhat merciful that we were able to get at least something there. Realistic chance to kill you next turn would help us a lot. That's okay. <laughs> Don't sweat it. Um, we'll still play it. We're only taking two on top of the three we lost. That's one way to look at mathematics, I suppose. Um... We really needed that early battle him. This is not that bad. We take six. This is where we just need to kill you. It, honestly, this went better than expected. Molten Egg is really, really good. Uh, we, we need an attack. 
I'm just not sure if it's Flurry of Blows. I think a Judgment is like a little bit more, a little bit more deadly, you know? And we don't want to fall victim to the same trap of like not being able to kill enemies because of the fact that I'm... Oh, dude, look at that. Because of the fact that I'm prioritizing um, resting instead. But I think that we're actually making a pretty astute play here. I hope. Call me crazy on this one. I feel like it's worth using a potion. Um, because we're going to probably get a potion from this. Not guaranteed, but, but it's probable. And this was a, a very easy fight. We got a lot of relics that benefit us in the in the long term. And our HP is not that bad right now to begin with. A Sash Whip, look, I'll, I'll take it. I'm not super sold. A Gremlin Horn is beautiful for second uh, act elites. So uh, I'm as far as I'm concerned, I'm sitting pretty right now. Let's not pop this. I think we'll do better popping it against the elite, especially knowing that in all likelihood we're going to be going against... Um, Probably should have attacked the frail unit first, but um, you know what? Look at that. Never mind. We'll probably be going against the the stall. I'm, I'm okay with this, bro. I'm just like I I need um, some attacks. Sixteen damage. You're very lucky. You don't even know how lucky you are. That's how lucky you are. Never mind. You're not that lucky. Because you're dead. We did get a potion. There is something to be said about Flurry of Blows. I, I really don't mind Indignation to get into Wrath or apply Vulnerability as well. And Rushdown, I've been told, this is one of the most highest upvoted comments on recent videos. Egg, Rushdown's pretty good. I could believe that. You know, I, I think I, I love the archetype of stance switching. We don't even have, like, even close to an archetype here. We're, we, we, you know what our archetype is? Having freaking 9 out of 10 relics. That's pretty solid. But uh, let, let's start with an indignation. I don't think we could really go wrong on that one. Look at this tiny man. Okay, um, I'll summon an even smaller man. We might as well enter Wrath. Probably the worst regen potion ever used. Yeah, we gotta kill you. Well, we we don't. <laughs> there, to some extent, there is like you reap what you sow, right? Like, am I really... I think it's the right play to stall for another four. Now we got like half the value of a full regen potion. And we'll just make sure you're dead. That's That was surprisingly punishless. I don't know if that's how that phrase works, but uh, I, I do like a Saints of Time, but Empty Fist, I think, is better. And, and can I tell you something, in, in all honesty? I'm not actually sure I like a Saints of Time. I think I just like that it comes pre-upgraded here. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's... 85%... Uh, I hate that the monster comes back awake, so that's like... That's the only thing bothering me. Look at these relics. Are you seeing these relics? We need two vulnerability. We need one cost eruption. Like, there's there's a lot going on here. I think two vulnerable maybe is it for now. But I'm, I'm not trying to besmirch the eruption upgrade, okay? Uh, you have one extra energy to start with. That's a, That error doesn't happen as much lately. It's It's been nice to see it. <laughs> 88, this will take you to 78. This is great. We're going to flip you over next turn. Promise. Well, it's a simple turn at least. Two enemies, 24 HP. All you got to do is wait for, uh, I mean, a judgment wipes them. As does every other attack in the toolbox. Yeah, uh, good fight, and honestly, a good floor. This is an important moment. Like, a, a spirit shield is really good. I don't think we necessarily need more block. Ragnarok, I'm just like... I'm very not sold on it. Uh, it's just... 
it, the cost is so high. It probably will trigger Gremlin Horn almost every time we play it, but I think you go Conjure Blade, and the beauty of Conjure Blade is that it's so flexible. You know, you could play it for one, and be, you could play it for zero if you had to. And I think we really want to fight Elites here. We also really want to remove Curses from our deck. We also really want um, to add some attacks. And as long as we're able... We might have been able to get away with Eruption here. But you know what? I don't think it's the play on these guys now that I look at it. I stand by this. Oh, you need to get hit four times. I no longer stand by this. I'd like to apologize for my, my words and my deeds. You know what? Can I tell you something? Can I tell you? I stand by it. <laughs> we got you. Ladies and gentlemen, we got you. So what's the? how do we stay ahead of the curve on this floor? I think we simply... Why not? Uh, I think we, you know, play your cards, pay attention. These are two important things that sometimes I forget. Very happy with both of my potions. Still, we need attacks. Um, we remove the curse from our deck. That is still bothering us. And then I very much enjoy... A mummified hand. Everything else, I'm, I'm okay with. 21 card deck that I'm, I'm fairly pleased with. We want to fight as many elites as possible, which means it behooves us to keep our HP as high as possible in order to make that happen. One, two... We only have two means to exit stance. So I think the play here is not to use eruption, but rather to just wait till a judgment shows up. And when... I mean, we'll, we'll build in like some... Doesn't really matter how we play this. We'll build in some extra damage in case we draw Eruption uh, faster somehow, which doesn't make any sense at all. That Expunger's going to be pretty slick, though. Look. <laughs> I know we're going to draw... Uh, our, our judgment, so why wouldn't I do this? What a great card. I don't think we need another Empty Fist just yet. Although, you know what? I'm realizing the more Empty Fists you have, they don't scale... ...badly. A. Um, they scale really well. And this is how you can tell I'm, I'm freaking crazy, man. Let's do it. This is a great fight for us to have with Gremlin Horn. Um, they scale really well. Like, the more you have, the, the merrier you are, I think. Three energy. An empty fist to existence is, is mighty appealing to me. And then we can get a, a three energy conjure blade, which is very good. We don't have to play our potion, remember. You can just simmer. You can just spirit stallion of the Cimarron on it. And play it, uh... You know, see, if we get a better potion, then we just dump one. Probably the dex, because the Distilled Chaos is spicy, but um, it, it can help us out. Meal ticket. Well, we didn't get one. Uh, I think Simmering Fury is a great card. What I would love to see is more ways, actually, to enter Calm right now. But certainly, like, not upset. More ways to enter Calm... I'm just keeping it in my head. More ways. Did I mention this part yet? To enter calm. Uh, we'll, we'll indignation. Then you're dead. We'll get energy back for this. So don't be a fool. Six energy. Let's do one turn of weakness. I, I don't know. I, I, I mean... I'm not complaining. Let's just start there. All I was gonna say is, like, I don't really know why this deck is so lights out right now, but I think it's genuinely just that the relics we got are kind of insane. Like, for real. 
<laughs> That's amazing. Um, we we got some stupid, incredible relics. And Gremlin Horn in particular. Um, eighteen sixty. You're so close. Like let, let's distill chaos here. I love to, you. Love to see it. We entered calm, which is not necessarily the most important thing for us right now. But I mean, for the cost of a potion to take zero damage for the second elite fight in a row, it's not bad. We know we're gonna play our only block, so we might as well get the crush joints value. I mean, I'm pretty sure that, like, Indignation, Miracle... Oh, we, did, we didn't even need the the Miracle. Hmm. I, I think we just have Amazing Relics. And we're taking advantage of it on this floor. AoE is nice. I would prefer a Bowling Bash. And I, I think it's realistic we could get one. Mercury, Hourglass, and Duality. This is... It's fine. It's, it's better than fine, probably. We know our next enemy is is fairly likely to be the book. Not the, well, yeah, it is Book of Stabbing, right? I'm, I'm learning their names. The, the entire previous time we played this game on A20, can you believe I never even bothered to learn the enemy's names? I mean, I think it says something about me, I'm sorry to say. I don't think we need a tantrum. We, we, we seem to have enough ways to enter Wrath right now. I guess it's a beautiful thing to be in a situation where I really don't feel like we have to... Uh, like we have to uh, take cards. Most of the time, I'm like, oh, we, we're like behind the eight ball so much, I feel like we absolutely have to add a card. Otherwise, I lose. This time, I'm like... I feel like every time we get the chance to add a card, it's... It's more like I don't want to mess up our current equilibrium. So even good cards, I'm kind of saying no to, which, which might actually come back to bite us a bit. But, not yet. Not yet. Three energy? We only have two cards that even defend in the first place, so... I think we do enter calm. You're doing 12. This literally gets us there. So let's just let's just hold. The one thing, and it, it actually is fairly minor, but the one thing I've, I'm kind of like negative about right now is we haven't upgraded much. I think we can take an X Machina. We haven't upgraded many cards. We can afford to get a Ritual Dagger for sure. So it would be nice to be able to, to do that in the future. Um, and we could take any card we want here. Sorry, when you get down to the end of the coffee, it's, you know, it makes that sound. It is also 834 on a Monday, so so forgive me. Let's not mess with our current setup. Let's dump this Decay. Keep the deck strong. You know, I'm gonna take one Flurry of Blows. It comes pre-upgraded because of Molten Egg. Um, it also gives us one Dex every time we play it. So I, I like that a lot. I think that we'll want to use a Potion here no matter what. And then Battle Him makes an Inner Peace free. Let's do an attack to get some value from duality. Let's enter calm. If we play it, we get nine block. If we don't play it, we get nine block. No, this takes us actually to 11 block now that I think about it. Um, I was looking at the Oracalcum plus cloak class, but and I, I, I do think they would work together. So this turn sucks. Um, 39, 48, 21, it won't get us there. I honestly, in my heart of hearts, think you play this. We take six, which is nothing. And then, this is where we, we have one block in our, in our entire existence right now. It's like pretty upsetting, but 
it is gonna block for 12, and then we'll add in another six on top. I guess that that was a good time to use the potion. I actually think like we might be fine to to save that uh, for the boss. We did this in a backwards order, but like we we took like 10 damage. That's nothing. Just don't let it happen again. More blocks, please. More blocks, and let's smith. I know it's it seems risky. Let's make the eruption a little bit cheaper. The divinity stance. You could really just play your battle him and then stall until divinity stance is like ready to go. Like I, I don't see a a great reason. Oh my god. I don't see a great reason to play uh the you know miracle to make crush joints work. You know, keep in mind we, we got a great thing going here because of the fact that we have uh Gremlin Horn, so literally, like, Smite Judgment gets a kill. Let's us draw into more defense. I think we'll play all of them. Uh, and we're, we're gonna take a small hit, but that's not that's nothing serious. Let's Simmering Fury as well. The odds of us making it... Uh, I would really like the X's stance. I guess we can always use our potion. It's not the dream, though. Um, the odds of us uh, getting through an entire run without taking any damage, pretty low. No big deal, just all of my stance disablers uh, just chilling in our draw pile right now. It's, n it's a horrible turn to have to play your divinity. Because you can just stall on it instead. I mean, it would do... I mean, not even that much damage. I think we're going to be happier. To, like, get this out of here. Love to see those. 26. Right now, we're taking 16 damage. It's not even that serious. In fact, we're only taking 12 damage just by being in Wrath. It's totally fine. This might be... Uh, this might be the turn you're looking for. But I'm also, and you know, you're going to have to forgive me for getting a little greedy here. But there's also, for me, a level of, like, why would I play... Why would I play my Divinity Potion if I... Oh, that's fine. Why would I play my Divinity Potion if I don't have to, knowing how strong it is? Like, we're not going to die on this turn. He's, he's not doing anything. So if we can just save our Divinity Potion to instead use on the next floor, I'm even happier. Like, look at this. Looking somewhat optimistic. <laughs> Man, what I wouldn't give for just, like, a vault. That being said, I, I do have to acknowledge, I think Blasphemy is the play. It just kind of scares me. Enemies having a little extra strength is not amazing, but not that bad, especially for getting us to five energy. Now, like, don't tunnel vision on anything, man. You're you're doing great. Keep your head screwed on straight. Certainly drawing a lot of garbage. <laughs> uh, you're doing a lot of damage here. We're going to take, like, 11 damage here, I think. I think we could... Yes. We can kill one of you. Gremlin Horn, we're not going to play, but look at that. We take no damage instead. It's crazy I was thinking about not playing my cards there. I don't know what's wrong with me. Two Spikers is, like... I mean, it's really just annoying. I don't, I don't have anything else to say about that. I really want Ritual Dagger to pop, but I'm not willing to... That's what we're looking for. I'm not willing to go like that hard on it. Um, I need you to get under 30 HP so I can judge you next turn. Let's start here. I think we'll stall for a turn, which means really we should just play the Conjure Blade. Uh, you know what? We could have hit you one more time because of I, I I didn't anticipate cloak clasp. So give me both defense, a smite, and then a judgment. Beautiful. 
I will not hit you. The risk is too high. These are definitely some of the most dangerous fights for us down here. You literally, like, don't... Well, I guess you can play the defend. I was like, don't play the defend. You could get six block... Or you can get one block out of that card by not playing it. Really smart and shrewd idea. We should land an attack. The longer we can go without playing our... Uh, perseverance, the happier we're going to be. And the answer was we could wait for about a second. Um, judgment exhaust? It doesn't. Oh, okay. So we're literally just sitting on judgment, huh? Or not even. Like, we might just wait for Mercury Hourglass. <laughs> How sad is that? My That's my dream. Wait for my relic to just whittle him down. Um... I mean, we're, hand is getting full of some serious trash right now. Please, I, just a, a single defend. We can't even get Ritual Dagger to work. That's so sad for me, but also we won easily. Uh, I I do think we're having a problem exiting stance, so let's let's enjoy this then. These are incredible relics, uh, quite frankly. We're playing enough attacks that I think a shuriken beats a white beast statue, but I, I love a white beast statue as well. Don't get me wrong on that one. Hmm, okay. Well, we know we're gonna battle him. That's a gimme. And then we'll strike Sash Whip. Nine damage. How about eight block? And then an incredible conjure blade that, honestly, if we draw it, means you're probably dead. That's 40 damage. We actually got a Ritual Dagger to work. I, I don't believe it. People told me it, it couldn't be done. I'm... <sighs> protect, man. It's just like... I do think having more block is important. I, I, I'm not... It's not my favorite play that we've ever made. Can't afford another Cross Joints, but that's okay. I forgot about the heal there, too. Man, oh man, I'm starting, it's getting scary for me because I'm like tunnel visioning uh, on the potential victory. I'm like, man, this one would really hit the spot right now. I mean, we've lost so many times in a row and then, you know, the it's funny, but there's definitely also the level of like, like this run is so good that I don't want to have to deal with the potential pain of losing a run where we didn't face any kind of grief the entire way up. Essentially, that's what's happening here. Okay, so we'll start here. This is a, this is a smith, and then we're going to decide how things look when it comes to this double elite setup here. Um, but we're going to smith... And think about what gives you the best play on Dono Deca. It might not be what you think. Like, a retained Blasphemy is potentially pretty valuable. There is a chance early in the fight it won't get us there. So, I mean, like, that, that giving you two extra block is, like, it's not workable. Let, let's just go with the Blasphemy for now. It'll also help us on route. Like, the Air Canada in-flight magazine. We really don't have as many stance uh, enablers as I'd like here. But we do have Shuriken. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's... You know what? I'll even draw a Sender's Bane. I think if we can save our Divinity Potion for Dono Deca, I, I really, 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 really like our odds. We should play our attacks first. I hate to do it. Well, you know what? Maybe we won't play our smite. Because it's it's worth potentially like lethal if we get eruption on this turn. Or it, not eruption, but any kind of, you know, wrath enabler. I don't think we're going to be at your dead levels. We could hit you 11 times next turn. I know that seems optimistic. You're doing 92 damage. 
we can get out of this. I know it looks horrendous. <laughs> we have to use our stance potion, which is very bothersome for me. Um, this is why you do the math and you uh, look. We literally have to use our stance potion just to have the damage that we're going to take. Then we'll, we'll just get to the point where, like, Perseverance is doing as much as it possibly can because we've played so many attacks. That's a, that's a devastating turn for us. We're still fine. I'm just, you know, just about any card we drew there would have been totally okay. You know, I, I'll take a second judgment. It, the upgrade doesn't sell me that much, but the second um, judgment in the deck appeals to me a lot. Being able to just remove curses from our deck willy-nilly, I'm quite fond of. Now, don't you, you shouldn't lose hope here. Look at all the relics we got, man. But I don't think we want to do a double elite fight knowing that that's one of the only ways I think that this could screw up at this point. Like, I think everything else is just so darn good that there's, there's just no reason except, like, avoiding the, the specter of cowardice. There's no reason to, to call it into question, you know? I think. So, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Remember that? Those were the days, man. Uh, I think we're just going to... We have four energy in defense. Hmm. Okay. Well, let, let's play our defense, then. We know the enemies are coming back. That's fine. That's fine. Judgment. Great stuff. Indignation into Flurry of Blows, Expunger. Yeah, very good. We should have stalled for a Ritual Dagger, honestly. That's that's a little lazy. Give me an easier way to enter the Calm Stance. Look, you're going to laugh. I still think you take the Curse. <laughs> and the reason I take the Curse is because I it only cost me one HP to play it on the boss fight. And I'm trying to remove... Um, or I'm, I'm, if, if this last question mark is a shop, then I'm the happiest person that's ever existed. Now, be cool here. Do we have a way to exit the Wrath Stance? We don't, except for the potion. Uh, let's start Battle Him. It hit Judgment. That's fine. 10 damage. You're on 52, 51, 52. Be judged. Now we have a way to exit. Wow, you're actually so lucky. I'm going to use this just to make sure we stay out in, in front of things. And you're dead. So that seemed okay to me. I wish we got a potion from it, but that's fine. It's a shop. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, lucky, but also kind of smart, right? Uh, give me an apotheosis. Tungsten Rod is is very good. Uh, and then why don't we just fish for, like, the best potions you could ever ask for, right? Like a fruit juice, you just drink that up. Um, there's something about, like, duality can allow us to... Get, duality Ancient Potion can allow us to get an insane amount of permanent decks. Or, or maybe even just one permanent dex, but still... And then I, I think a stance potion is legit. I'll, I'll stand by this. And let's upgrade, um, like, protect. Yeah, just... I think block is the most frightening thing for me right now. So on a turn where we do many attacks, probably not this turn, although we would get... You know what? Let, let's try it. I just want to see. So it literally is one dex for one fight. And you know, the most messed up thing is like, I'm actually so okay with that. <laughs> as minor as it is, I'm like, okay, fair enough. Why would I want a dex potion when instead I could just get plus one dex, right? Well, um, I think we definitely like eruption here in this sash whip into uh, a smite. 
into a fear no evil into a perseverance we're still taking 21 damage no 19 because of the cloak clasp but that's that's the kind of turn we're looking for is, is where we can get something nice like that happening We might as... Oh, if trans... Unplayable? I'll be the judge of that. Tungsten Rod means we take zero. Didn't even consider that. Makes a lot of sense, though. This turn sucks. We definitely play Simmering Fury, though. And this is what the... The, the flexibility of the stance potion allows us to do this. Now, we can't Blasphemy. It's just, you know... It, it, it's unreasonable. We won't get triple what you see here. We'll get plus 50%. Like, there's no way we're killing both of you in, with that active. I wish that it weren't the case, but it definitely is. Um, so, 79. I don't think we can quite kill you. Which would be very sad for me. But this Vigilance, if we can at least play this Vigilance... We can kill you. Still, the Vigilance is an important play. And now we're in an awesome spot. Because the Blasphemy, we can just hold it, even for just a few turns. Let's, uh, Apotheosis, you know, thanks for showing up. I really appreciate it. Um, at the last possible moment ever. 38 damage coming out. We have no blocks at all. And despite that, I'm not that upset. I think our whole goal is legitimately just to stall. We can stall one more turn. Why would we do such a ridiculous thing? We might want an X Mac, and I gotta think about it. Um, that way, we have as much possible damage as you could ever imagine in your hand. You, I think you just have to go for it, because otherwise, we're dying anyway. Yeah. Um, so, Blasphemy. My god. He's actually done it. After... <laughs> after some dubious runs, I think we got the greatest relics you could ever ask for. This this is in contention for one of the best Slay the Spire runs I've ever had. 1732, my word. Um, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode today if you did click the like button helps out a great deal we got 18 19 20 remaining could take us six months <laughs> thanks for watching i'll see you then see ya i gotta find the button see ya